Hey, just quick check in. This is Chuck. If you hear any buzzing noises whenever Pino's talking in a certain section, that's his mic. Don't blame me. Okay, back to the episode. I think we've been funny once. If not, I can stitch together words and make it funny. <laughs> you can just, we you can do it lie? in editing. You mean Deep fake lie? comedy? Lie to what, our what viewers? You, lie I would to never lie to our viewers. You, what are you talking about? What did you about? just imply? I just implied that sometimes I gotta artificially make the comedy. <laughs> but what if, what if they were not funny? That's why we've been lying to them this entire time. That's that's why that's why I put funny sound effects in the anime. Wait, episodes. you think uh, any of these pop singers? You think any of these pop singers can sing either? Or you think we're supposed to be funny? Who the fuck do you, do you think th- I am? Who do you think we are? Weird Al Yankovic? I mean, no I'm way. pretty sure our our pseudo name was the Funny Noises Podcast. Why aren't you making any funny noises? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> Forget I said anything. We're, we're we're twice as funny without those noises. <laughs> the unfunny noises podcast. Uh, I don't know why I laughed at that. If I'm gonna be quite honest with you, it's because you're I, desperate for a funny. Bit. <laughs> it's no, it's because I giggled because I made a monkey noise and then I thought about monkeys and then I giggled to myself because monkeys are funny. <laughs> Man, if I had a nickel for every time that's happened to me. Hello there, my name is Pino, and I'm part of the new Fab Club. These are my assistants, Shitties, 1 and 2. We're here to look for anime out in the world, and sometimes anime is kind of hard to find, so we must reach deeper, deeper beyond we've ever imagined. Imagine the monkey flipping all over the place. That is how we all feel when we find an anime that we all generally enjoy. However, sometimes we come across the not-so-happy monkey flip, where we all flip around and by we, I mean me. Thank you for joining my TED Talk. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hello. Welcome. Hello. To the Fancy Anime Podcast. How are you? Oh, we're the, whoa. Wow. We're classy we're fancy today. up in here. How are you? I'm okay. There's How are Mario, you? There's a Mario re-release, so I'm pretty good. How are you, Pino? I'm pretty good. Somebody's spamming all these Love Live images, so I'm pretty good. I had a burger... <laughs> Oh, nice. I had two burgers this morning with a fried egg on top. Did you say two burgers and a fried two egg? Two burgers? I well, not just I one. Hadn't, I I hadn't eaten since six p.m. But that's yesterday. that's more than the daily dosage that the general would let us do. <laughs> just the food general. Yeah, the yeah. food general. He's just in charge yeah, of everyone's get, dietary yeah, yeah. habits. I mean, to get low rates, you can get online, go to the general, and save some time. Mm, baby, no, nah, this the I general mean. I'm thinking of could eat that fucking general. <laughs> Wait, wait just, a second. <laughs> what kind of general you going to? Yeah, general I don't fast. know who you're seeing. That's the dietary general. You what better watch die? out. <laughs> Guys, before we get any further, and because we will continue to not talk about this anime <laughs> for probably the next year and a half, I want to thank Sid, Cream Puff, Jasmine. Um, oh, wait. Uh, why are the colors so close together? I hate it. Um, mm-hmm. Guys, <laughs> I wanna th- guys, I want to thank Jasmine, Cosmos, Sid, and... <clears throat> do, I, do I need to say the last one? No. 
It's not your episode, so you okay. don't. E- we don't even say them. Okay. Shut up. Let me do it again. No, <laughs> guys. Then ignore that. Mm. Cut that. Shut There's up. Nothing ever Cut happened. It. Cut it. Nothing happened. <laughs> guys, King Crimson just did its work. I don't know what you're talking about, guys. guys I want to thank Sid, Cosmos, do? Jasmine, and Cream Puff for being our Big Cash Money winners. Money, 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 money. Thank you for donating to us and helping us run the show. We'd if you love guys y'all. want to. Yeah, we love you. And if you guys want to help support us, you can go to patreon.com slash three weebros. We have a cool Patreon. And this weekend, as this episode gets released, we will be playing Among Us with <gasps> all of our Patreon subscribers. So if you want to come and party with us next weekend, and we'll be doing more streaming and movie nights and things like that on the Patreon. So you don't want to miss out on that. So come by and say hi. I'll but just say hello. Well, is not a song or something? What? Probably. Mm, I don't know. Everything's a you song say if you try yes, hard enough. I say no. You say I. And I, I say, say subscribe no, to go, our Patreon. Go. We all went to the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you, you, Paul, we missed our exit. I can't believe it. We were supposed to leave in the Bobo Bo episode. Stage left. <laughs> Stage left. <laughs> Which one's my left? Oh. Yeah, is this. Wait, does that mean all right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? <laughs> I'm going to go upward. We're never going to get them down. out of here. Shoo! Goodbye. Take the oh. to him. <laughs> get out, <laughs> Beatles! Ah. 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 Get out and scatter! <laughs> Did we watch you know, an anime? Paul, Paul McCartney had wings, and you know what else had wings? <laughs> 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 you brought us for <laughs> You know, oh my this God. show had a lot of wings going on. This week we watched Heaven's Lost Property, uh, seasons, seasons one and two, otherwise known as Sora no Otoshimono. Oh, oh there Bless you go. You. And o- Sora no Otoshimono Forte. Bless you. Um, I picked this episode. I'll tell you why after. No, we already asked each other everybody's day, right? Yeah, I you had ate a Berg. Borg. Garb, did you eat Borg? No, I had soup. Oh, you had soup? <laughs> soup? Soup? I had toast. Nice. Just toast. Not even with butter? Just toast. Wow. It was just it was just warm bread. Toasty. He didn't even toast it all the way. <laughs> no, I lied. I had a I had a Belgian waffle. Ooh. Sorry for lying to my fans out there. <laughs> I can't believe you lied to me. Uh, your only fan. The Belgians believe. will be so upset. Whoa, 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 whoa. You may um, be my only fan, but I don't have only fans, okay? Why not? I think you could make money off of it. No, no, no. Because there would be only one. Guys, guys, please send us an email if you want a Pino only fans. Oh, God. We will set it up. It's the truth. We've Your voice doesn't lied. lead me to believe you are telling the this truth. Isn't, this isn't a bit. This is the truth. This is the truth. It's not a bit. We've never lied once on this podcast. Not, no, I've never lied Move ever along. in my Move life. Along. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Goodbye. No, nothing to smell. Anyways, um, before we jump into all the details, um, have you ever heard of this show before, boys? No. No. Nope. No. Nope. Never no. even seen the OP or one of the many EDs. Never, never even knew it existed. Yes. Well, I did. <laughs> oh my! No one asked. Uh, well, well, it <laughs> harkens back to so what rude. a Pino show is. Uh, uh-huh. It's either something on Toonami or something on demand. And this was on demand, baby. Back when Funimation had a channel. You remember that, cool gamers out there? Didn't yeah. think so. Um, it was on demand once. And it was one of the, again, one of the early shows I, I watched uh, starting out with anime. So I was just like, eh, after whatever I might have watched, I was like, let's hit this one. Because the rest you had to subscribe for. <laughs> Uh, and so I hit this one, and I was, you know, I was interested. I was like, "Hey, this is kind of cool," in, in, in a in a cosmic sort of sense. Um, <laughs> what? And cosmic? Yeah. <laughs> Keep I've going. Had cosmic brownies before. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> brownies? I'm walking here. Anyways, um, I don't know how long ago I might have seen this. Is the thing because it. Well, at least 2009. Yeah, it released 2009. I probably watched it sometime shortly after that. Maybe 2010, 2011 or something like that. Uh, but it was dubbed by Funimation, which is why I, I I knew of it. Because you can only watch anime in one way. in Sp- I mean, in English. Uh, hasta la pasta, baby. Hasta, hasta la muchacho, ma, 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 mambo. <laughs> Anyhow, ay, ay, ay. Uh, oh, ay, no. 
anyways, uh, this is a series. It was started off as a, uh, obviously as a manga. Uh, it lasted for a total of 20 volumes, I believe. Uh, and oh, shorty. It, yeah, pretty short. I believe it's about 70 something chapters. I don't remember. Uh, but uh, I forgot how to host. How many weeks has it been since I hosted? It's been two episodes. Two ep- I can't believe it. So that's like two years in my in my, in my <laughs> lifespan. Your lifespan? Uh, how yes. rapidly do you age? Oh, I'm eternal. Oh my gosh. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> really shit that brick out, huh? I did. Um, yep. Yeah. So after the first season, I, uh, they made a second season, obviously, uh, mm-hmm. cause that's, that's the trend. But after the second season, uh, they released two subsequent movies to, I guess, uh, finish off the series in a sense. Uh, luckily we only watched two seasons. Uh, and I believe it was a total of 24, 25, 26, I think the first season 26. was 13. Second season was 12, yeah. 25. I don't know. Matt's hard. Um, Matt's hard. Apparently there was a plans to be a season three but mm. <laughs> that didn't happen but of now course. it's a movie i guess yeah mm-hmm. i'm surprised um, this show got that much anyway but yeah i, I don't digress. know if it really deserved it but you know that's just me that's just the way it be that's how the cookie crumbles that's how my how the angel falls is. that's did you fall from heaven? That's how the gravity falls. Angel Lloyd. Ah. That's a good show. Everyone watch it. Watch that show over this one. <laughs> I, I like watching Gravity sh- Gravity Falls Out of Order because that's it's, it's how great. I do it. It's so good. I love that show. I started with the last episode. Don't tell anyone. No! <laughs> True story. <laughs> uh, and then I watched everything out of order, which was unfortunate, but it was fun. Uh, it's a really good show. Better than this one. Nice. That's a fact. Nice. Nice. Um, but anyways, uh, we watched it. Uh, what's what's the next section? <laughs> don't you? Aren't you the host? Yes. I just don't. I'm just too lazy in, to open the serious chat. Well, then this... Pino, whenever you, comp- whenever you complain about how your episodes are bad, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> whenever you're like, man, this episode was trash. Why was it so bad? I'm like, well, Pino... Well, Pino, you exhibit A. <laughs> Pino, you gotta put in the effort, I'd say. Oh, hey, we have no. a we had the opening bit. I don't written. really feel that, or you like did a good it. job, really good job winging it. No, it's because I never know where to find it. The, to be honest, it, you click the pins. It's in serious talk, right? Yeah. Yes, and you click How the pins. How far? It's pins. <laughs> the first one. Look at the. Oh my! I'm gonna the kill second you. One? The third no, I'm one. I'm scrolling down. Hold up. Uh, it's, why are you scrolling? It's the fifth it's, one. You said in serious talk, right? Yeah. Yes. In the fifth S- pin. One, it two, was me. three, four. It oh, we've had it since 2018. Where you flip flap? Yeah, where does flip flap world fit? That's that's gotcha. what it starts. Is that really how it used? To, is that really how it looks like? That's how yeah. it's always been. This hasn't changed in two years. Well, no, that's been edited. Yeah, so that's a we, little we, different. We flip flop. It stuff. hasn't been edited in like one and a half years. <laughs> Pish posh. I'm gonna smish <laughs> your Pish posh. posh. I'm spishing a sposh. What did you call me? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know you uh, used such language there, Garb. <laughs> I didn't know you were a fucking idiot. Um, you should be sorely mistaken, then. What? You didn't know? What did that... Oh. oh okay, I thought I thought you were about... You were trying to throw that on me, and I'm like, sir? Sir, <laughs> sir, sir I have irrefutable evidence. Sir, I have, like, several hours of audio of you. Only oh, no, Several? Me. Well, several can be a many big number. Will they release the fab tapes? We'll never know. God, I hope not. God, I don't no. want those to leak out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we can go That's ahead a... and start with presentation, I believe. That's the next Dude, one. Dude, Prez? Right, is that, is that the next one? Yes. Awesome. I know. We're going to talk Pino, about presentation. You have the list in front of you. <laughs> yeah, but... This is... Look, it's I one of these finished. shows, right? It's one of these shows. It melts our brains. One of well, these days. A la a Pino episode. Yes. Where it melts his brain. Yes. All I don't my know. Mine's melt. pretty mine's pretty soupy. Ugh. Soup. 
Anyways, it's let's uh, let's talk about that presentation. This uh, again is a pretty old show, 2019. Uh, Tw- and- what? Hey, hey, Pino, <laughs> want to try that date again, real quick? Sure, 2018. <laughs> nope, try it again. Mm, 2017. Keep going. 2016. Just skip a couple. Please. 2014. Almost there. 2009. There you go. That's Thank the you. one. Thank you. So the 2009 anime, pretty old. I've been picking a lot of those this season, or actually, actually, like uh, maybe last. It season. feels weird calling like that, calling two thousands anime old. It feels wrong. It feels weird. It's I a, mean, we're, it's a we're, real, we're we're aging. Oh my god, it's a real God, weird champ aging. kind of feel. It is, and it's both a good and a bad thing when you talk about. I think. 2000 what was it 2000s anime <laughs> almost said 20 <laughs> well, anime well you can tell you can tell that the show was made in the 2000s it's it definitely the, very good it, like we mentioned before it has that stank yep the and digital has, early has, digital stank it has such a stank to it and i'm just like ugh. i don't know there's some like good stank mm-hmm. back in those days but i don't know if this is a great stank like what? the show looks fine Nothing super offensive. The only thing, and I and I and I think I brought this up in the Patreon chat when we were talking about it, but fucking the main character, Taco Me or whatever the hell his name is, um, uh, Tomoki, t- t- Tomoki, Tomoki, whatever. He he changes into a chibi form like more than he is his normal form, but. Everyone else still stays their normal form, and it's weird. I don't like it. I don't like the contrast. I get it's for comedy, but it doesn't work. I don't even know if it's for comedy. I- is it? Because I, 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 that's the only explanation I have. I don't know what else it serves. It is distracting. It is very distracting. It makes me upset because, but then the other characters also have chibi forms, but they're never nearly used as much as his. So I'm just like, what? What is this supposed to mean? I hate it. It makes me upset. <laughs> what does it mean? Personally, I don't really mind it too much. It's like you you start noticing it when you start watching anime, kind of like what we do, and you might even notice it like after like the near near the end of the first season. It's a lot more apparent in the second season. Um, no, but I like, feel like it's pretty even throughout. Yeah, I'd say. Okay, maybe 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 it has, but I I really don't see an issue. Like I'm not watching the show uh, for something too serious. So whenever they do change forms, I'm like, oh, I get it. They're just trying to be playful. I don't. Perhaps. It just doesn't work. I don't know. It doesn't work for me because a they still they want to be funny, but then they also want to put in drama. And whenever they do drama bits, sometimes he still is chibi, and I'm just like, that doesn't work. Yeah, but isn't that the whole stank of the of the two thousands? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they no! always try to put their funny hahas in their Full serious. Full Metal he-he's. Alchemist does that sort of thing where they lower the character like um, detail, like um, like Ed and like that whole. Uh, it just pisses me off because I can't, even though it does have the 2000s stink, I can't write it off because there's a great many shows that came out in the 2000s that are phenomenal shows. Like, um, fucking Death Note came out then. Both Full Metal series came out then. Like, Code Geass came out then. I- there's... I gotta eat your ass. Wow. Oh, I- that's very aggressive. Ooh. Tell me more. <laughs> no... That's for that's for the after hours. Like, well, Pino even Toradora came out in two thousand and eight. It's true. Like, came out before this. It's true. And Toradora's style is much better than this. I, I, Both seasons of Haruhi came out before this. What what usually works with the sort of swap to Chibi is whenever they do it, and they don't show them moving around in the world. Like, it has some sort of backdrop that displays well like you know, it's, like it's, emphasizes the achieviness or whatever and and this just showing them moving around the world go flopping between them it's i i, I, I feel like the thing I, I, I don't think it's a bad thing it just kind of was a little distracting i but think it's it a didn't bad really thing. add anything well because like i'm not even going to be um <clears throat> like i i don't even think that like it works because 
it's so interchangeable that like the characters r- like recognize when he's still in Chibi and they make comments based on that. And like it makes no sense, you know? I don't I don't like it. It's just a bad choice. I hate the choice. But I mean, I still like it. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> and everything else looked fine. They didn't reuse 3D or overuse 3D or anything. Um it looked fine, you know. There wasn't there's like, no, like no the, other the gripes. Sh- yeah, no, the animation's fine. But like it's just that that yeah, the 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 choice is made, I don't think is smart and I dislike it. The way I kind of saw it is a majority of the time, uh, and it's a large majority of the time since they used it a lot, um, despite it being also used sometimes in those quote-unquote dramatic moments, the majority of the time, any time they would go into a chibi form, it was usually just because they were either in the background or with Tomiki's case, he was just being, he was being his uh, perverted self. So I was just like, okay, so this is a scene where he's going to be more, more goofy so I can be like, haha, he's going to be funny. But you don't a bad comedy <laughs> is that that's the definition of a bad comedy when they make a sign to tell you to laugh to tell you to get ready for funny that's awful that's like adding a laugh track from what you just subscribed like it's telling you that this will be a quote unquote funny bit laugh viewers it, laugh well yeah and I just never laughed I only laughed during the quiz episode. When the when the, when the Yakuza man said that's okay, and then during the wrestling episode, that's it. I left three times this whole series, and they weren't even like gut busters. They were just like a hee hee hee. That's fair. It was just not my vibe. We'll talk about it more when we get to the plot. <laughs> plot. And well, you know, quote unquote plot. Uh, but yeah, was... animation was there. Um, yeah. they, you know, they, I, they... I, I, like no gripes besides the chibi thing for animation. It's you know fine. There's mm-hmm. no big issues with it. They had a lot of action sequences, um, either be it very over the top or very kind of like standard. Like when it comes to like the um, like the gunfights that they had, or the or the moments where uh, you know they had to do like robot. Uh, panties and whatnot. This is such a weird thing to talk about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, like, uh, I think they were all pretty solid all around. Like, there wasn't any kind of moment where I'm just like, hmm, like, hmm, I don't, I don't like this. I don't know. There's, we'll talk about that more. I, or at least I will during all the panty stuff. I don't like it. it wasn't right. funny. But, I like um, the voice acting. Sure. Mm-hmm. We all watched it dubbed, I assume. Yeah. The dub was okay. I like the no, dub. I thought it was, it was fantastic. I, I listened to episode only- one subbed, and then just the rest of it dubbed, and the voices were pretty accurate, I thought. Granted, I only saw the first episode, so I didn't hear all the Japanese voices, but mm-hmm. I thought they I did think- a great job. I thought the, I, the yeah. cast well sounded accurate to the characters, and even mm-hmm. the MC... It sounded like he could have been a little annoying, but I, yeah, I thought it was. I, I thought it was. That fine. was that's that's re- that's my only gripe with the cast is that the main character is Tomoki's voice because we we've heard him. This guy before in Bakatu Test was a uh, one of the voice actors for uh, them. I he was uh, he was a perverted one too. Yeah, well, it's Greg Greg uh, Aris. Mm-hmm. I think his name is. Like he's done some good things, but I just don't feel like he's a like a leading role kind of guy, you know, at least the way that his voice sounds, I don't think mm-hmm. it works as well as like, as his side character was in, um, like Baka two test. Cause I'm, like, as you don't I, hear, I would, much. I kind of would disagree. Cause like, kind of like what Garb said, I also watched a little bit of it subbed and it's like really one, like, I think it's close, like almost one-to-one. It is uh, damn his near voice. one-to-one. And but so I, if that's what they that's, were aiming for, I'm just like, Hey, that's fine with me. Like I might hate the voice, but you know, yeah. if it's what the original source had, I'm just like, okay, that I'm fine. still doesn't, that doesn't mean that it equals good though. I still, mm-hmm. I still enjoyed his performance too. Like, yeah. like the when, performance was not bad. I just don't know if I don't like having that kind of voice for a main character, but yeah, you also don't like, like this kind of main voice. character. So it doesn't yes. that work. Yes. That, that, that is, that is the point that I was building up to is that 
that's the character you know mm-hmm. there's yeah. uh, that's that's how the show works that's i mean if it makes you feel like that then i think they're doing a pretty damn good job <laughs> i still didn't like it i didn't ask if you liked it i said they're doing a pretty good job making you yeah. not like it yeah i didn't like it shut up no you're stinky <laughs> no but um we had some fam- we had some familiar voices in there too um yeah. we had uh ishiro sugata as um eric uh from a lot of the shows we know Mm-hmm. Would anyone like to tell me what shows we know? <laughs> it's Dragon Ball. He's he's a uh, he's Trunks. Trunks. Who? It's Eric Vale. Yes. Good times. And Good man. He's Trunks and everyone else in Under the Sun. He's the also the announcer from Dragon Ball. He's one of my favorite characters, even though he's literally just an announcer. <laughs> <laughs> he's still great. And he's got he's a cool a mustache. Funny guy. <laughs> and he's also America in Hitalia, which is mm-hmm. there's a I, there's. This was made around the same time, I think, as Hitalia, or the dub, like, the dub cast is basically the same cast. Yeah, because... I mean, there this... wasn't too many people in the industry back Well, in no, because the so. they and were both dubbed by... Fu- so yeah. well, they were, no, a lot they were of both dubbed by Funimation both in 2009 to 2010. Yeah. So it's like... There wasn't a all lot the of variety. same people. Yeah. No, which <laughs> I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying, like, that's where I know... Like the the president, she is one of the announcers for the for one of the segments on Hitalia that I remember watching, you know, seven years ago or whatever. And I was just like, oh, there she is. I know who that voice is. And then she was also in like, you know, Bakhtu Test and all the things. So it's a good cast, a really good cast still, regardless of my gripes for the main characters voice don't don't let that deter you for thinking it's a bad dub it's a really good dub yes agree yes the I ost speak. i think was pretty all i think was kind of all over the place in some yeah. points um you would there have some, there were a couple standout tracks yeah you would have you would have um you know your 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 emotional kind of piano pieces but you'd also get your kind of like high octane like or high energy kind of things with the with the wrestling matches and the gunfights and whatnot. Um, yeah. I didn't really mind it too much because this show, as soon as it started, I was like, ah, it's going to be sporadic. It's going to be everywhere. So I was like, yeah, as long as it doesn't feel too different, I'm fine with it. I don't, yeah, I never, I didn't really have an issue with any of the music. It was, you know, I can't, I couldn't recall if you, if you literally asked me like, Hey, name one of the songs from uh, Heaven's Lost Property. I'd be like, I fucking couldn't tell you shit. <laughs> like, I like there was no bad tracks. I don't think there were none that pulled me out of the experience, which is good because mm-hmm. you know it's the the whole soundtrack steals to keep you invested and keep you in that the world of the show. And I feel like the uh, OST did it well. Mm-hmm. I don't have any. I don't right. have any gripes with that. I think. I think that. I think the OST is where the main. The main stank from the two thousands anime comes from because <laughs> it just sounds like every other. Uh, yeah. Like even if, even even with such a variety, it still sounds like anything that might have been released at that time. Yeah. So it kind yeah, of blends. well, the the variety is that they they took some from every other thing, and that's <laughs> the variety. Basically. Yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. It's what it is. It is what yeah, it no, is. Yeah. No. Not not bad. Not bad. It is what it is. Um, backgrounds. I guess we didn't really have too many interesting yeah. backgrounds. The, yeah, the show takes place in a small town, and even when they're not in the small town, it's not really much to see. Uh, like when yeah. they go to uh, the synapse, it's like all yeah, you know, basic modern technology or basic like uh, tree houses or basic kind of town layouts. Nothing too impressive. But I do like the colors that they choose, like for the sky yeah. and, and for like. Uh, some of the some of the shadows uh, used to kind of make uh, some things look a little more men- quote unquote menacing for some certain yeah. points of the show. Not but, definitely no, it wasn't like badly drawn or badly made. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a you know pretty bog standard, but that doesn't mean that it is a bad yeah. uh, standard show. Yeah, it's all pretty. And, it's pretty samey for 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 where everything that might have been released around the same time. Yeah. So. The, you know. That's the uh, a la the stank. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. The, the koof koof, as the Japanese <laughs> say. <laughs> oh man. Good times, but yeah, no, it's um, it's the presentation. I'd like to I like to describe it as it's there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but let's move on to something that's a little bit more over the top. Let's go ahead and start with some of the openings and endings. And by some of them, I mean we're going to start with the uh, the openings and we're going to try and like marathon all the oh, endings. Cause there are we're going to have to run through that shit. We're going to, we don't worry, I got you. So we're going to start with season one's opening since we watched both seasons. We're going to talk about uh, My Heart Bell. Uh, which is it? Ring My Heart Bell by Hoshi Suichi. Oh, God. Yeah. Suichi. Suichi. It's syllables. Go every first syllable. Suichi. Suichi. You did it. I can't. Anyways, <laughs> it's by it. Blue Drops, anyways. Uh, and you have some variations where you have like the main character singing it um, at points in time. Uh, or you have like a different girl singing it, but it's pretty. It like when you watch it, it's a pretty like standard 2000s yeah. anime opening. Yeah, it's, it's it's a very standard opening. You know, the song's not bad. It's a pretty good song. It's pretty catchy. Mm-hmm, pretty catchy. Um, well, like you can see in this opening, the all like during a section in this opening, it has all the chibi characters in it, and I'm like, if they did that more with everyone as the chibi and not just. One character. I mean, they, I didn't, they did that. do it a lot more with Icarus, no, I, I no, think. No, they didn't do it a lot. They did it sometimes. I mean, i pretty sure they Icarus... They did it sometimes. They did Icarus. I will give you that. Icarus does that sometimes in the background, being a doofus carrying a water Malone, mm-hmm. which I loved. Um, but for, like, most other characters, you only see them in that form, like, two or three times. Um, I watched mm-hmm. the show twice. I have to disagree a little bit. Well, yeah, you saw him twice as much as me, then. No, I'm like, I, this is my, no, second, that's this how my first works. time rewatching it. He's trying to discredit me, but I've watched this twice. <laughs> it's okay, we'll give him a good smack. No, it's no. okay. No. Uh, but I do, like how, I do like how... I'll, I'll most, report you to HR. <laughs> I do like how most, if not all the characters... or Actually, you know what? Maybe half of the characters have their personalities kind of like already set in the opening. Uh, yeah. With Sohara being violent. Uh, you know, Tomiki being Ooh. Tomiki. A guy with glasses uh, has glasses. Yeah. Uh, Yakuza sure. daughter having guns. <laughs> uh-huh. That's um, true. But it's pretty nice. Like, I, I don't mind it. It's, 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 I like watching this opening. Like, I'll watch it. Yeah, it's no, got, like, your it's, good it's, action, par- action portions, and you got your good, like, just walking portions. You know how much I like yeah. the walking. We do love some walking in our openings. I'm telling you what. But, yeah. Um, I like it. It's... Yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty okay. It's it's above average for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, the characterization is very good. Um, some scenes were like I don't I'm pretty sure they were like reanimated from scenes from the show. Yeah, a lot of those like I think have a, were like some s- sections in the show. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was still good. It's not a uh, nothing not a really to complain it's about. A, it's not an AMV. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's close. Uh, something a little more uh, not as cool uh, is the second opening. <laughs> uh, that one's a little boring. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, that yeah, one, I... let me open that up, is called... I thought I had the page open. Are you going to talk about the other version of the opening first? Oh, what, your Tomiki version with yeah. the nipples? Yep. Oh, we can if you want. I, I mean, I, mean, I kind of brushed over it. <laughs> Well, it's, that it's one's more pretty cool. Filled. I think it. I think it's a cool reference. I like it. Yeah. You know, because it's it's basically just replace Icarus with Tomoki. Did it have then... special? It had different animation too, right? Yeah, well, there was a lot more well, boobs. Quote unquote animation. <laughs> yeah, you mean yeah. sliding images of girls with boobs and <laughs> or then, magazines? Uh, it, it was. It was a, a unique opening. Uh, <laughs> it's, unique. It's, um, it's right on the edge. Of being a new opening. It was so close. <laughs> On the precipice. It's true. Yeah, um, no, and I don't know. This show's way too horny for its own good. <laughs> like, it's not, uh, it's just horny for the sake of being horny. Yeah, we're, we're going to, we'll, we'll really dive deep into I'm, that in a little bit. But oh, no. yeah, I don't good thing. Good into thing that. you said that. I was gonna say we're gonna get horny real soon, <laughs> <laughs> guys. It's time to get horny, boys. Ah, uh, shit. Yes. Welcome oh. to the horniest episode of the fucking anime podcast. Thank not you, Pina. Im- impossible. And that's not. Yeah, it's also impossible because whenever we watch Monster Musume, that show's also horny, but oh, also Lord. good horny. That has a that slime show. girl. What do you mean? So. We, the horniest. The horniest show we've seen is um is is JoJo. It's Dragon Maid. <laughs> 
The Dragon um, Maid was pretty horny. Oh. But I said that Dragon was wholesome Maid because, horny. Well, I'm saying Dragon Maid because the dragons have horns. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Well, what about, uh, what about, uh, <laughs> what about, uh, what was that one show we watched? Um, Overlord. They got a lot of horns in there. Yeah, that was pretty, they, pretty horny. Alberto had a lot of good horns. Alubeto. Oh, Alubeto. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. no, there's other One day we'll shows. get back and pray that the next seasons are good. <laughs> um, I know the horniest show was, um, wasn't that the one with the, uh, Nietzsche Joe with, uh, with the deer? <laughs> no, those are antlers. Those uh, are not horns. Uh, mm. My mistake. Same with Chopper. Those are antlers, not horns. Even I though mean, he's called horn it Horn Point. point. Well, it's because Oda sometimes has baby brain. It's Horn Point. <laughs> blame the translators. <laughs> no, blame... They say it in English. Yeah, they say it in English. Ah, shit. They say Horn Point. Oda! <laughs> but let's talk about the second opening. The second opening is called Heart no Kakuritsu. Uh, by there by the same go. people, blue drops, and also sometimes uh, by somebody else. I think it's the. I think it's also sung by the Japanese voice of Icarus, if I'm not, yeah, I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. Um, this one's a little more slow, uh, not as memorable in my opinion, because yeah, when I yeah. saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this was a song. Um, <laughs> but I still like it. It's it's a lot more. It's a lot slower. It has the same kind of theming as the first one, where like you get everybody uh, kind of like. You you get more of Astri in this one or Delta yeah. rather, yeah. Uh, and they're doing either or call they're either they're already or. committing sin in such a quarantine time. They're all sharing water yeah, bottles. Yeah, they're all sharing. Oh my god! But also, fucking glasses boy, fucking just destroys Delta in this because he drinks the rest, but then I passes mean, the bottle off. He's like toisty. there's still stuff left. I mean, he's toisty. That was a dick move. I mean, once he could have gotten her another one. <laughs> No, no, it no. It was mean. They, they had to personify that Delta was dumb. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, no. Like, it's it's almost like we couldn't have done it any other way besides <laughs> fucking roasting her in the first moments that we see her. Basically. I mean, that's that's her that's her whole existence, unfortunately. Which is a shame. What do you mean? She's, she's like a character made for me, but she's just not good. Yeah. It's like she like checks up all my boxes, and she's still just not great. And I'm saying it's okay. Not all the blondes are equal. <laughs> it's true. Um, but this is nice. I think this one has a lot more of like not spoil. Like it has more like scenes from the just like the just like the first opening. You get scenes or or like snippets of what's to come. So like mm -hmm. my favorite is is still Mikako holding uh, Sugata and like. In her, the palm of her hand, like squeezing his glasses, I was just <laughs> that like, was pretty, that's that was great. a good reference. <laughs> I was just, I, well, because whenever I got to the wrestling episode, I was like, oh, that's where that's from. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. Um, but yeah, a lot more of the same. I think this one looks a lot cleaner for some reason, but yeah. I still prefer Heartbell. Like over. Yeah, no, over I it. think I think Heartbell's song just does it a lot more for me than this. And also, I feel like because. They introduce a lot more, like, drama in the second half of the first season and then the second season mm -hmm. has a lot more drama-focused. And I feel like that's what this opening was trying to lean towards more, but I just don't think it fits as well because I feel like the show should be focused on, or at least from what I can try to glean, it seems like the show is trying to be a uh, comedy before a drama. I mean that's what I got that's what I got with the assumption of like the first episode where he's literally naked and he's got a horny he's got a he's, or no the first scene horny where boy. he's like uh he's, he's waking up he's like well if the flag's half if the, if the flag's full the flags, or, what the is flags it? at half mast right now boys yeah salute no I actually don't uh, <laughs> I'm saluting I mean once you put a once you put a dick joke in there I'm pretty sure it, it I th I'm yeah, pretty sure it's it, a comedy. It, it's, it's really hard well like I don't know some shows could maybe make that work a la one piece but Dick joke? When did they make a dick joke in the first episode? Remember, hey, well, not in the first episode, but remember when Frankie's testicles got squished? You mean after, like, 300 episodes? Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about, like, the beginnings of a show. Like, you... Oh, like, I you mean, well, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, actually, I one guess Mustard Musume one piece just does called that Elvita, as I mean, well. Luffy just called Alvita, like, who's the fat girl? And I'm just who's, like, haha, that's a funny... chick? And we went, ouch. Kind of mean, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're getting but canceled. Then she got, then she, but then she got real skinny, and I went, ooh... Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, the openings and endings. Uh, this is this is the part I was waiting for. Uh, speed running through the oh, ending. So we're gonna start with season one, ending one. Yeah. I'm mostly mm -hmm. just gonna talk about 
uh, the the more important episodes and the one that the ones that don't really matter. I'm just going to describe them. Yeah, Pino, just zoom through it. And let, I don't think I have anything to say about any of these. All right, let me make sure I've got the correct page open to see the correct songs here. One second, my compadres. What'd you call me? Yes. Amigo. Okay. All right, ending one. Ending one was called the Sobani I oh god. Sobani Ira Reru Dakeda. I don't from, think you need to go through every name if I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm going through them all because cause screw you, that's why. I like it. Uh, you know what? Actually, you know what? You're right. We're going to actually go go quickly over them uh, in, in, in a special way. So the fact that we have so many endings um, is a bit of a is a bit of a center, the epicenter of contention with the podcast. I want to hear your opinions on the amount. I think amount. it's dumb. OK, why? They shouldn't have done it because endings are supposed to be memorable and supposed to finish off a show to lead into the next episode, or if you're watching it weekly, it's something to stick with you for the next week. Counter-argument. Each of these endings for their episodes pertain to the episodes in a sense that... Yes, but that doesn't... But I... Because it's each episode has a different one, I remember none of them. I'd rather remember one ending than none at all. I mean, off the top of my head, I actually remember five. (laughs) Well, I remember zero. Yikes. You got a bad memory. (laughs) Yes. Because I use it to think of better things. Like, can you hear my heart bell? <laughs> Yikes. What are, you, what are your thoughts, Garb? I thought there were too many. Um, I, I, Chuck, I have to disagree with you on the, what you're saying, like what an ED is supposed to be. Fuck you. An ED can be whatever it wants. Basically. But this, uh, I, I like that they brought it on, uh, that they carried on the story. Um, I'm watching the second one now, and it's funny watching the, the panties <laughs> soar about. Exactly. It's, it's entertaining, but I mean, that that's one of the few things this show has going in its in its favor, and it just it kind of just baffles me more than anything because it's like why they put so much effort here, but the show itself is yeah. so mediocre. I I guess I guess a, a good compromise I feel is that if they um if they use the same song. With these different visuals, or like a I re, would, I would, or like cover the same song, so it's yeah, like well, because like for example, Bunny Girl Senpai, uh, great show, everyone should watch it. I cried on the bus reading the manga, um, but that show has the same ending song, but it uses different characters to sing it and has slightly different visuals for each ending. Yeah, didn't Love Live and do I can, something similar? Uh, Love Live does that with different singers for the endings yeah. and depending on stuff and sometimes has like one or two additional endings. Um, but I it, like I might remember like the visuals, like you said, like the panties flying uh, migrating and but it, it comes to a point where all this extra work, I don't think like makes it worth the effort. You know, I don't think the ends justify the means for this particular uh, aspect of the show. Yeah. It's too much work for something that doesn't mean too much. Yeah. What, what confuses me is that it's just such a strange set of priorities. But mm-hmm. I digress. I personally, I enjoy the fact that they have so many. I mean, one of our main complaints of us has always been like, it's either you you make some more variety or you don't make it a slice. <laughs> Yeah. Well, like uh, the I, fact that uh, they were able to make a variety and only a handful, or maybe not even a handful of slideshows in there, and have it to actually be related to either the episode uh, or like the aftermath of said episode, I think that's like something you don't usually get to see. And I think whether it be unnecessary or probably a dumb idea, I still very much enjoy the fact that they did that. I just don't. I don't think it was worth what they did. I don't. I don't know if like. They could have put toward like because I don't know where that budget could have been put towards, you know. Because I think for me, the the real thing that I dislike about the show is like just the plot and the characters. There's like it's it's not something that you can fix in animation slash like post. So that might just be why I'm a stinky little bastard this episode. But it I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't do it for me. Yeah, 
if uh, my, well, the suggestions I have to make this show better, like it would, you'd have to redo it from the ground up. Yeah, and you'd only that's, have to that's keep, my like, whole a few feel. elements. Because mm-hmm. like the 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 angeloid aspect, cool. Doing the like falling from space, cool. Having the cards, a cool concept. Yeah, the new world barely did. Yeah, the like it's all it's all relatively interesting things that you can do within this anime, but it just falls short when you're doing characterization and making your main character somewhat not very redeemable when he's very horny and has no uh no control over himself which is which is one of the biggest things for me cuz I just don't find Tomoki very likable but let's get back to the endings cuz we got to get through these yeah, <laughs> we can't put it off <laughs> uh I think in total we have like maybe 12 or 13 different we have we have just amount we have the same amount of endings as we do episodes. So we've got a good old 20, 25 uh, endings. I believe two of them are the same songs, I believe. Uh, but I could be wrong. Um, but again, uh, there is a lot, regardless of whether you hate it or you don't. <laughs> got to admire the effort they put hate in. It, I, I feel like hate is a strong word. I don't know. It sounds like you kind of hate <laughs> For me. it. I don't hate it. I just uh, don't sure think it. it's... I don't think it was a good move. I think I think it's. it was a unique choice, and I very much appreciated the fact that they put that extra effort in to just Being add to the story. <laughs> I like even the fact that they used they used it um, within one of their, uh, like, episodes. They, like, called back to, like, the one of the endings that... Uh, Icarus was walking underwater to try and uh, catch some fish when they were in the deserted island, uh, yeah. where she became a, a monster. And she and for the quiz episode, when she's uh, making those questions, uh, there's a callback from that ending to that other ending where she was finding, like where it was asking, uh, "Do undersea people exist?" And she calls back to that ending. I'm just like, "Oh shoot, okay, that's kind of cool. Look at that little fun tidbit." Uh, <laughs> and then she circles it as it's it's true. <laughs> um, but I like that. There's like there's a lot of interconnectivity that you can sometimes miss if you're not really paying attention, which I didn't pay attention the first time I watched this show. But <laughs> second time, I'm just like, hey, look at that. It's pretty cool. So you got to at least appreciate the effort that they put in to keep oh, yeah. everything I, kind of I, 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 contextually I, I, similar. Believe me, it might seem like I'm being a little bit of a stinky man here, but like it's a it's it's uh, like a valiant effort. I feel like it's still it's still cool that they did it, but. I just don't know if that was a correct. Perhaps show. if well, they may have done like maybe half of what they had uh, well, for like endings, if, and that if, would have been like, nicer, probably. But yeah, I just wish that the, there were less songs. Visuals can change; that's fine because you're like you know some visuals that do stick with you a lot. Like for example, any of the JoJo endings, I can like remember each and every one off the top of my head on how they go. But like. The song is one of the things that sticks with me the most with both openings and endings. So if you don't have a good song, like you're already kind of, uh, kind of boned. And like these songs are good. Do not get me wrong, but there's just too fucking many <laughs> to remember. Too much of a good thing. Mm-hmm. Too much of a good thing. It's like eating at an all-you-can-eat buffet, and they took everything out of the ending bowl and left everything else on the t- on the buffet <laughs> line. <laughs> They said, this is what I want. And and then the parents said, are you sure? And they said, yes. And then they were like, okay. And then they had a stomach ache the next day. <laughs> wow. I like that wasn't analogy. That a, wasn't that yeah, a right? good analogy, everyone? It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> right. I think, I think we're done with the opening and endings, right? <laughs> we haven't gone through any of the endings. <laughs> Why would we? I said we were going to do it in a unique way. Uh, okay, so the unique way was that we don't talk about him? Well, yeah. It doesn't seem like you guys want to talk about him. No, I will talk about them. I'm just telling you my issues with it. Which ones do you want to talk about? Because we're just not talking don't... about all of them, goddamn. The flying panty one, that's pretty cool. I remember when she was walking underwater. I liked that one. Um, I'm trying to look for other ones. I like ones. the the gunfight one where they showcase like seven gun gunslingers, including Grandma. And including Shop Lady and including Fishmonger. Mm-hmm. There's like some. Uh, one that I remember a little bit of was um, with What's Her, what's her Nuts, um, Icarus, uh, walking home with the watermelon after she like went to school and taught for a day. And then she was just chilling and seeing all these like weird, unique characters. Like there were ninjas behind her at one point. There's a big ass robot um, man walking a goat, you know. So I remember that one a little bit watching back. 
there's some cool like references towards like a, like different genres of uh m- like filmmaking and different genres of anime and whatnot, which is pretty cool. But I don't know. I like the one where they're at the beach taking pictures. That's good. This is a good one with the ghost guy in one of the pictures, which was a very, I still don't know what he is from, but there was a ghost guy in one of the pictures and I was like, huh? He's spooky. He's spooky. Yes. Uh, But I do like a lot of the slower ones where, um, where, you know, it's like more of a character oriented one. Like the one, despite it being a slideshow, the one for Nymph, I believe it might be, uh, maybe like episode 10 or something. I don't recall, but one of those episodes it's Nymph and it's just like a nice different kind of art style going on. I like that mm-hmm. one a lot. It's pretty wholesome. I liked it. But I also um, like the one where Tomoko's working out because that one was unnecessary. <laughs> I didn't I don't know about that one, bro. <laughs> that one was funny to me. I like the whole I, like rocky kind of like successful jump <laughs> or like thing at the end and I was like, "Huh, interesting." The best part though the, uh, was uh, Mikiko with a gun uh <laughs> at Sugata's head, so that was great. The the wrestling one was pretty interesting cuz it 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 like showed all the matchups. That we didn't get to see, so that was pretty fun. Season um, two, uh, yeah, I like that's, the. That's where I'm looking at now. I like the Astria workout one too. Yeah, that one's that, that one's, one's good with fun. all like the Karate Kid uh, references and. That one's good awesome. Stuff. Good um, shots there. Yeah, and the dog pees on her at the end. That's great. I think that's my favorite ending. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, that that might be my favorite. I think. I'm just I'm just clicking through to see if there's anything that like I that really stood out to me or if I remember because I watched every single freaking one of these because yeah if, if they're gotta, gonna if they're unique you might as well watch them right and all, but also at the end they still had additions to the stories yeah and I was just like oh okay yeah I think I think we talked about all the ones that were pretty like the most interesting I guess oh yeah. the um. I like the one where he's riding on his panty motorcycle. That one's yeah. still fun. <laughs> Good times. But no, that Astria one's probably the best one. Yeah. Anyways, okay. now that we've finished the endings, right? <laughs> now that we've spent way too long talking about them all. We, uh, yes. Well, we <laughs> talked about them all in conjunction. <laughs> Considering yeah, how many there were, I think that was pretty good time. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I yeah. guess so, yeah. Yeah, we made time. Yeah! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about the plot. All right. You guys ready? Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. So there's yes. boobs here. There's boobs there. There's tiny boobs mm-hmm. on the bottom. There's a little mm-hmm. bit of boob over there. And there's a lot of Tomeki nipple. Quick. Quick. Okay. Is that it? No. Uh, the plot is, uh, this is a story about uh, a boy named Tomeki. He longs for a, a peaceful, quiet life. Kind of like our boy Yoshikage Kira, except without the hand thing. Um, one, and he's always perturbed by some dreams uh, regarding an angel girl uh, with blue hair, uh, and he's always sad at the end. He doesn't know why, but he's always sad at the end. Um, so uh, Sohara, his be- one of his close friends, um, says, "Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and get you some help. Uh, not from a professional, but from uh, a, a very." A very interesting uh, classmate, a boy, uh, Ashiro Sugata, who is very obsessed in the new world. Um, he says there's going to be a thing that happens uh, tonight, so let's all go. Spoilers: He doesn't go. Sohara isn't able to make it, so it so Tomoki uh, ends up going by himself. Uh, lo and behold, uh, things start falling from the sky, uh, and one of those things that fall is a an angel sort of sense, a pink haired girl with wings falls flat to the ground. And uh, despite Tomoki's initial reaction to just leave her behind, as soon as more things start falling and putting her in danger, he runs back and rescues her. Um, at that point, uh, she introduces herself as Icarus, a pet class an- angeloid, uh, who was sent there to be his master. And so this is basically uh, the start, and that's how all these shenanigans happen, with uh, crazy powers, interesting episodes, questionable episodes. Um... But it all kind of has like a background. It all takes a backseat mostly to all the the gags and whatnot. Uh, but essentially, um, Icarus is not a pet class angeloid, but probably the one of the most dangerous ones, the Uranus Queen. He <laughs> um, <laughs> he. Uh, and their the overall goal is to destroy uh, Icarus, uh, and that's why they send countless other angeloids down to earth including uh nymph and astria who we then meet on later 
uh, in the series. Um, but it, it really, in, 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 in short, it's really just uh, a story about the uh, Icarus trying to kind of, in a sense, be human uh, or understand human emotions. Um, you can kind of like say it's, 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 it's 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 like a, it's a hodgepodge of a lot of things, uh, making it kind of a weird kind of way to describe it because not every episode is connected to the overall plot, as you, mm-hmm. as we're gonna be well aware of. Like the f- second episode in, is the shenaniganry that can happen when uh, you wish panties to fly, uh, yeah. or you know uh, the third episode or the fourth episode where uh, we're just uh, at a festival and uh, the Judas man shows up uh, with guns. Uh, so there's not a lot of cohesiveness, but there are little bits of story progression, albeit very slow, um, ultimately leading to uh, altercations between uh, the angeloids themselves and the higher-ups uh, in the synapse, which is where uh, well, all the angels are coming from. Um, that's about it for the plot. Uh, they try to kind of connect it at the end of each season, with some big battle or some big revelation, like the second generation Angeloid in the second season, uh, and like finally revealing who the blue haired angel is. But it's not all well put together, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah. It um my the way that I see it is that they wanted to do so many things with this series that it never excelled in any one part. Cause they they wanted to do drama, but they also wanted to do comedy, and they also wanted to introduce all these, like, aspects. They wanted to be pervy, but they want to still, like, try and have, like, that kind of cohesiveness. They want to make this character likable, but they also want to make him a pervert. I don't think anything in the show really stood out to me as being exceptional. Mm-hmm. It, it seemed like a very average kind of show. Yeah. Plot really... I, well, the thing is that I enjoyed whenever it got more serious but i just don't care about the mc i don't really like him yeah but i i I thought everyone else was fine and since this is sourced from a manga you couldn't really just cut him out and redo it because you'd Mm -hmm. piss off your fans but Mm -hmm. i don't know if this was not focused around that main character like stick it around Ishiro yeah. I would have been more into it but you know I I just think that cuz cuz they want to make him like the one of like the moral centers of this show but when this man has no morals essentially like doesn't respect women basically is my main point <laughs> is that it's hard to it's hard to root for a character that Literally every episode, in some way, shape, or form, tries to sexually harass people. Just like, if I'm being honest with you, it's kind of hard to support a character like that. (laughs) Yeah. It's true. (laughs) Uh, So I'm just... It's difficult, because, like, all the other characters are, like, pretty interesting, and I, like, kind of... I like the... Like, their characterization, like... uh, Icarus I really liked, Nymph was pretty cool, Astro was pretty cool, Sugata I really liked... Uh, uh, so Hara was okay. She was a little bit too dependent on Tomoki because also Tomoki's an asshole, so I don't know why she likes him. Uh, and like, uh, Mikako, I loved Mikako. She's so fun. Um, I feel like they tried to, I think they didn't put enough, they didn't balance out Tomoki, um, in, in, in a, in a good way because he does, when he's, when he does have those moments of he's actually caring or kind to, his friends or to the angeloids like there. I'm just like, look at that. Look at, look at this nice boy. And then the next scene, it's like, I'm going to grope you. Uh, so like, that's kind of like a bit of a, there's a bit of a disconnect, uh, which is both very odd and very questionable. Um, it knowing the fact that this is like one of those, I guess, harem Eki type shows. It was, it's Eki, right? Yeah. Eki type yeah. shows. Echi or Eki, you know, whatever. Um, you like, it. I... It's not so much as I gave it a pass, but it's more so, like, I expected some sort of hint of horniness in there. Uh, but sometimes it's a little much. I'm, I'll am i admit it, the fishing episode was a little bit weird. Um, yeah, I don't... Mm, 
Like the the joke where um Sugata threw out the squid and then Asher like jumped out of the water to get it like a big fucking fish. That was funny. Mm-hmm. That was a good bit. But overall just I don't like that. I don't I don't like it when you're objectifying women in every fucking episode. Like haha funny, he horny, haha. He's got hormones. He wants to see boobies. But no. <laughs> That doesn't that doesn't help me with my enjoyment on the show. Mm-hmm. I, I think you put it best uh, in the Patreon chat, uh, oh, where I? this show isn't. This show is like I don't. It, I'm paraphrasing, but this show isn't like you're not coming into the show. Like you're not recommending somebody to the show. This is like a show for certain types of people. Like yeah, this <laughs> this, this like I I equated this type of comedy a little bit to Panty and Stocking. I don't think Panty and Stocking is quite as egregious as this. Penny and Stocking has a lot more going for it than this show, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm, I, this also, is the first time you've said something nice about Penny. Also, but, yeah, also by the way, let's, Mikako, let's enjoy this and, Mikako <laughs> and Penny are voiced by the same character, by the way, by the same voice actress. True. Um, but, like, Penny and Stocking, I feel like, had the animation going for it. It had a very consistent theme to it. Yeah. It knew what it was. It knew it was going to be kind of like a comedy that, like to rise itself from profanities and sexual references. And they knew that going into it and they stuck to it. And I can appreciate that in this show, but this show was trying to do so many things that it never excelled or really found a place beyond ha ha horny boy. Yeah. I think it's more of a tease than in, in many areas of the show, uh, not just the horniness, but the drama, the quote unquote romance mm-hmm the quote unquote slice of life. It all kind of teased in yeah. in both in all directions uh for this one as compared to um uh, your your wonderful compliment for um Penny and Stocking. So thank you. Well it's like I if if a show can excel in something, I'm gonna point it out. Like I might have not thought that show was very funny, but they knew they knew what kind of show they were making. Oh, you know, our, our, they were our our moment in the daylight is gone, Garb. No, I'm, uh, I'm like just uh, like just legitimately like you can see that show and be like, I know exactly who I would recommend this show to. I know exactly what kind of show this is. This show, I don't know if I could recommend to anyone. Like legitimately speaking, I don't know if there's quite a niche beyond. 13 year old boys who get excited to see anime boobies for the first time. Yeah. Like even, that's, that's what this show is to me. Like the same thing as what to love Rue was for me. Like I can almost guarantee you to love Rue also probably doesn't stand up as well as I remember. And we'll watch it in the future at some point, probably. But like, I feel like that's the same type of show that this is, you know, has a, has a main boy main character and it is there's a like uh, a mythical or like otherworldly girl that shows up in their life and then they cause havoc and it's like that same type of show mm-hmm. there was a lot of and, those in this in, yeah. in this kind of time yeah period. that's 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 one of the stank that's one of the premier stankiness mm-hmm. of it all like uh, upon like looking at any promotional art i think for any of these types of shows um if you weren't already pulled in for certain reasons, you probably would probably skip it. Yeah. Luckily, like there was no promotional <laughs> images when I watched it originally, so I was like, it, it was Click. free, and you said time to buy. Time to time to watch. Time to buy. Oh hell no! If it was in the free <laughs> section, it's not for me. <laughs> there yeah, would have well, been no way. Sort of, well, yeah, <laughs> that's I don't know, man. It's just like that's why I missed oh, out on Dragon Ball. Oh, oh Dragon mm. Ball Z. Well, that's why you went to Namek so many times. <laughs> please get me off the Namek roller coaster, please. And one more ride down the Namek slide. <laughs> Make way for Frieza blowing up the planet. Ah, oh. <laughs> I've seen him blow up the planet so many times. I know, and then I've seen Goku press the muffin button. I've seen this fat ass for too long, Krillin. Here you go. You're now strong. Oh, you died. Oh. oh, oh. God, I love that guy. Dende, you're going to be fat like me. <laughs> Gee, I Dende. can't wait, Gran- Grandpa. Hey, I fucking like, forgot what the big no, he's the name. elder. He was the big green. He's the, the, the elder, the Kamikai of the of the yeah, of the Shamishai. Call me. No, he's Guru. Kami Guru. Yeah, or whatever his it. name was. Yeah, I remember because of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball uh, abridged. 
Kamiguru. Kamiguru. Mm. Mm. Big. Biggest Why green. is there a child here? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Dende. Shut that bird up. Kick its mm. ass. <laughs> Kick its ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I oh my forgot god! About I forgot about that one. <laughs> Kirk is a. Uh, it's so funny. It's I love it. Okay, sorry. That's just I'm telling. I'm telling you my my gripes. What? Those are my gripes. Oh no, that's fine. Yay! Yeah. Like um, that. but yeah, I mean, like overall, like I, it had enough personally for me to be interested. Uh, for the most part. Uh, it had enough to make me hype when they actually what did they they announced uh, they would finally bring over the um, the last movie uh, onto Funimation. So I was yeah, like, yeah, okay, we did that's it, cool. guys. Uh, did but it. I'll probably just stick to the manga because um, I feel like it might be better paced. Maybe there's uh, differences, and there actually are quite some differences. A lot of characters aren't introduced as early as they are in the in the show. So have you read it or plan on reading it? I've read about ten chapters so far. Okay, how is it? So, so yeah, I'm, I'm interested um, in knowing like the difference. Mikako doesn't show up a lot. Like she doesn't show up for the beach getaway uh, when they stay overnight and discover Icarus is like a weapon of mass destruction, or when hmm. um, when Sohara's drowning uh, in the water and they got to save her. Uh, Nymph doesn't show up. Uh, Nymph actually shows up with the fight scene first before actually sticking around with Tomoki. Okay. Um, there's a lot more focus on Sugata, which is probably something that might interest you Garb. the fact that yeah sugata feels more of a in a more important role uh yeah. from what i can tell from the first 10 chapters i was like okay there's a lot of more sugata like he gets a lot more personality which i like he's Good. a fun uh, character um there's also for the first 10 chapters there's also a lot less um eki in it which God, was please. kind of surprising uh well, which like i'm pretty sure they'll fix later <laughs> no, <laughs> they'll which, fix quote unquote later. quote unquote fix but um yeah no i was surprised at the kind of disconnect between both but they're all pretty one-to-one -one, minus like certain characters being in certain situations with them um which uh which i'm still interested in so i'm gonna keep reading um it's surprising that when I was looking through the forums, which I always like to do when I when I have my shows, um, I go <laughs> when I'm the watching forums. my shows, <laughs> I'm watching my shows, honey. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. That she watches her soaps. I think uh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Um, but uh, going through the forums, I I love seeing uh, other people's like w what they feel, and like I like the whole the whole fact that like a lot of the ratings are pretty high, but I see a lot of low ones. I don't ever see things in the middle, which I'm just like, huh, you either really love it for some reason, or you, you really take a, sh you like a dump on it, uh, for, for whatever reason. I'm like, I get it. I finally understand, uh, which makes me want to avoid the movie because I'm told the ending in the manga does it more justice than the ending of the movie. Cause the last movie that they're releasing, uh, that is the end of the series. So I'm just like, huh? Okay. Let's, uh, Huh. Pay attention to that. <laughs> um, but I, I do like the fact that it's such a very... I don't think it stood the test of time because it feels like it's something that was real good, which is why I remember Chuck <laughs> was making a mention of the, the mouse score, how it was like kind of high-ish. I it's think it's like really a disconnect between the, yeah. uh, between the early 2000s and like the, the, the now the 2020s. Like it's a very... Oh, it, I can say it's very dated in a <laughs> yeah. sense. Though, oh, yeah. Because there's not a lot of... There's a lot like... There's a lot of weird shit in this show. Well, like, well, like, well, like, you can, like, I'm, like, there's still that that horny demographic, mm -hmm. like, for but they're, they're more refined now. I would say, <laughs> I would like, say there's age, a refinement. The, the, yes, the, 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 the etchy genre, out now. <laughs> the <laughs> etchy <laughs> genre really aged like fine wine. Didn't this it? is a good gentleman boner, my friends. <laughs> oh, let's see, fucking interspecies reviewers. <laughs> uh, beautiful, <laughs> it's really about refined this. stuff. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> in the words of Yoshikage Kira, oh, oh, no. I, the first time I saw it, I had a, a boner. <laughs> oh, oh man, my God. part four is good. Part four, good. I gotta uh, watch part four again, bro. We're gonna watch it next season. That's a that's a that's a Chuck promise, baby. Oh, I can't wait. 
I don't have I, any problems. I, I literally season. started one of the one of our page our Patreon people wanted to watch part four dub, so I linked them the part four dub, and then I started watching part four again. It's good, was, right? You heard the dub? It's my favorite. It's, it's the great. best the dub animated JoJo part. I was surprised when I watched it on demand too. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> JoJo is now a tsunami show for me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. It's, it's fucking true. good. It's worth the. It's worth it. It's I love it. They put Assassinations Classroom on Toonami, so I can't wait oh, to yeah. recommend that one. Oh, that's been on my list for so long, so I'm ready to finally watch it. It's an interesting one, but we're, we digress. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we digest. We go, we go now to talk about characters. We'll save the worst for last. We'll start, we'll start with the main girl. We'll start with Icarus. Um, Icarus is the alpha of the group uh denoted by her sign alpha uh she is True. the uranus queen she has no emotions for the longest time and then she still doesn't understand what emotions and are. then her reactor hurts i can't why does my reactor hurt tell me ow ow, ow. Owie. Icarus, Ouchies. that's not love that's heartburn oh ah! mm, i should have had some tums i think she has some of the most i think she has the overall best moments in the show oh both, yeah both humorous uh sentimental and just like even in the background her moments are pretty good yeah no i love i love her her loving the watermelons She's oh great. yeah petting I love rubbing them yeah it's great yeah rubbing rubbing the man i was like that's a funny mm. bit uh, that's out of context not good <laughs> rubbed no, she rubbed she, he rubbed the man he, he rubbed gross him, rubbed him good he said that's okay <laughs> he said that's fine i it was so funny i giggled that's good i like that one uh <laughs> i like she's i she's she has the one of the most gr- like growth in the show which is nice like which is which is ironic pet. because she still talks like this master it i mean she's got the best voice actress too it's got it's britney karabowski Oh, I She's thought you great. were going to say Britney Spears, and I'm going to be like, oh, Hit me, that's baby, toxic. one more time. No, she, she, her voice, like, when I heard it the first time, I didn't know who Master. she was, because I never watched Railgun at that time. And then I watched <laughs> Railgun, and I was like, hey, let's go, Makoto. Uh, but no, her voice is great, so I was just like, this is yeah, perfect, because she can is, do that tonal, kind of like, yeah, the very that was voice. I was saying, this, is, this was probably, like, the first time that an English uh, dub, I feel like, actually kind of nailed that uh you know robotic feel yeah that character of, type that that's, characters that's a yeah typical like trope yeah like 2b is the same way like you 2b is the same way you have um what's her what's her face uh from haruhi uh yeah what's her face that's um, the bot no yeah no um uh, I'll, let me, I'm thinking of her name. Whatever, she, we know like, her. She got know, the blue hair. Uh, her name's her name's Yuki. Yuki, so, yeah, Yuki Mora. No, well, because uh, I remember, I remember we talked about this more in the No Game No Life Zero episode. Mm-hmm. Cause with that uh, Shiro, was, right? Uh, little girl. Yeah. yeah no, Shiro's girl. the man. Uh, what's her little Is girl's Shiro name? The man? No, I thought I thought no, Shiro. Sora, it's Sora's the big so, the man. Sora. Yeah. That's what. Yeah, it is. no, that's why we put Goofy on the thumbnail. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, hers was a little bit. I don't know. I hers was a little bit rough. Uh, last time I remember, but it was still like close. I still didn't like that one, but this one I like. Yeah, this one I liked. It, it seemed well. Put me on that image where it's like, oh, this is good, but I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the car one. Yeah. Now this, this is excellent, but um, I like this. <laughs> exactly. Great voice actress. Um, but yeah, Icarus is is she has a lot of the chibi moments, which I like. Um, at least with her, it works. If 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 I can maybe get some agreement here, and she's in chibi. It probably yeah. works most of the time. Yeah. Chuck, you're uh, very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he says not a word. He says nothing. He does I not was... want to be compromised. What What was I talking about? My brain, my brain shut the chibi, her, Like her, most of her chibi moments work. Her chibi moments were good. Yeah. Because it was never a focal point and like it, well it they did focus her, it when it, she was shopping. It fits her character a lot more as well because like Chibi moment equal head empty, and head that empty. fits her so well. Because she head empty. Yeah, and and it's not like used like as much because whenever she's small, it's usually Tomoki's also small, so it like fits more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was and small. Also, in, she was small in like when she had to take the supporting roles, like in the yeah. like in the wrestling match when she was the announcer. Yeah. It, it works. It works better for her because she's not. Like, it fits her character a lot more than a boy who's running around. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just don't like Tobuki as a character. I guess it it's does garbage. also work because, like, she's, like, a mythical kind of, kind of like, being. So, like, having them with chibi forms, I feel like if they stuck with just them with the chibi forms, that might have actually worked a little better now that I think about it. Yeah. 
I like her chibi. She's fine. She is. Um, but yeah, she's also really strong. So uh, don't don't mess with her. Don't don't fuck with her. Don't do don't it. Touch her master. Don't She'll yeah. My, what are you doing to my master? <laughs> Answer me at what? Answer the question. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, let's move on to uh, let's move on to um, the next. Uh, let, let's move down the rank. So we had alpha. We'll go to beta. Right. That's the next one. Am I Greek? Am I Greek yet? Sure. Sure. We're gonna go to nymph. Uh, nymph is Hatsune Miku, but Sundere. But <laughs> small any any suggestion? And not as good. I don't like her that much. You don't like her that much, really? She was just like, like I get it. She's the Sundere character. I don't mm-hmm. like you. Blah blah blah. Oh, I don't like you, but I like you. I don't, she's just kind of mm-hmm. annoying. Yeah, I think at least that personality trait was a bit, you know, it's a bit samey with with all the Sundares. But I do like. Yeah. I do like she. She also had the next amount of growth uh, in the show, yeah, she, where you where uh, you do get like a lot more focus on her um, regarding her past and how she was very much. Uh, let's straight out just abused by her former master. I'm just like, well, damn, you had to crush a little bird in your hand. That's rough. Damn, yeah. they stepped on you. And like having her slowly open it, open up was kind of nice. I, I enjoyed that. I really. I, I'll be honest. I I like that. So yeah, uh, yeah. Garb, anything? Was, she, was, she was okay. Like I, I just, I just get so tired of the Sundere garbage mm-hmm. because it's just like fuck it, just say it. I know that doesn't work for the anime because they want to <laughs> have to pull it out for three more seasons. Well, they wouldn't call it a Sundere for nothing. Well, I know. I just she's okay. I I like the backstory, but she just didn't do it for me. She ain't got no wings. She did take a lot of a, a side roll as soon as her wings did kind of get snipped off, and I was like, "Oh, that's a shame." Yeah, you were kind of cool. All right, let's let's talk about the best one. Let's talk about let's talk about what is it? Delta triangle. That's the one. Triangle. Tringle. Sure. Talk about Astria. Tringle Bingle. She really does have head, head empty. <laughs> she she's dumb as hell. She thinks one plus one equals purple, which uh, did make yes. me laugh. Yeah, that was really good in the quiz show. That the was quiz great. episode was the funniest one. I loved it. Um, I I agree with you there. That was probably my favorite episode. I like when he fell into poop. He did, and he went. <laughs> but then, fucking, I don't know, man. I like and, the effort Delta puts into everything. The fact that she has to try extra hard. <laughs> I think she's like I think I I think she elicited most of my laughs from the show, which is great because I I think I actually like her yeah. character a lot. Ha! Huh, you said ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the best. <laughs> it's a shame that she didn't nice. come in until the second season. I know. I was wait. I saw her in the poster and I was waiting so long, and then she shows up, and then she was just too dumb. She would have helped a lot, I think, if if they yeah. had played their cards right. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, because that would have been funny because you know they've got. Your horny MC, but then he's like totally ignoring her. That that's that's fun. That is much funnier. Where, mm-hmm. but whatever. Show's done and written and over. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow. uh, but yeah, she's fun. Apparently, she weighs forty eight kilograms. I just uh, wanted to read that because that was interesting. Wh- no that blood she type. She's robot. Oh. She robe it, no blood. Well, because forty eight kilograms is oh, only about a hundred pounds. Never mind. I was like I was like, wait, is that big? No, I weigh a hundred kilograms. That's, <laughs> I was like I was like, that sounds like how much I weigh, and I'm like, no, I weigh over a hundred kilos. I'm a chunky boy. <laughs> chunky chunky. Chunky. He big. Uh, he but that's big. enough of the angels that I want to talk about. Let's talk about the the surrounding circles of uh of Tomiki, but not let's not talk about Tomiki. Let's talk about Sohara. Sohara's Tomiki's childhood friend. Uh, a love kind of love hate relationship with Tomiki. She crushes on him, but she really hates the how pervy she is. But not really. Um, she's like the more annoying. Well, the not as cool side character for me. Um, she kind of takes the beauty role in Bobo, but yeah. a little but worse. Yeah, she's um, not as opinion. she's not as a good of a like a straight man. She doesn't work as well in that kind of role because mm-hmm. she's she still does like beats the shit out of. Tomoki. Um, Tomoki, and like, I, you know, I get it. You gotta be funny, haha, and you gotta be the funny character, but it still don't make sense to me that, like, I don't, cause, like, I guess also Sugata's kind of like the straight man in that, but still doesn't work as well either, cause they're mm-hmm. not totally sane either. Yeah, they're all very, what is it, eccentric? 
in a way. No. Yeah. yeah, eccentric's the right word. Yeah. Um, I, I will say, anytime Tomiki gets beat up, I laugh my ass off. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> because why? Wh- there, there needs to be a balance. If you somehow get your way, you must pay with your blood. Also. I don't know if it really made me laugh each time, but it was satisfying. Like, yeah. Make you me laugh. Fuck him up. Basically. <laughs> Um, but she can't swim. She can't swim. Uh, she cannot swim. So I don't know was, why that was a thing. I don't really care. But. Uh, in the manga, since they introduced that episode so early on, it made more sense mm. uh, to me to build Tomiki's character. But since in the anime, they put it a little, in my in my opinion, they put it a little bit late, which is one of the main complaints I have. This is kind of slow uh, pacing. Um, yeah. It was kind of like weird. It's like, oh, you can't swim. Oh, it's because Tomoki's a nice person who showed you how to swim, but you didn't really swim. I'm just like, um, some of these things are weird. Uh, also, something I noticed in the story, if I can backtrack a little bit, the manga has like little sides, like side chapters, like 9.1s or, or like 9.2s or something like that, which were actually put into the anime. Like the whole scene of, um, of, Icarus going shopping that's technically just like a side like a little side story that, what? Yeah. you know they shouldn't have I mean it was nice seeing that because Icarus is cool uh, but like you know if they if they stuck a little closer to like the introductions of these characters or stuck a little closer to the actual story content I feel like it could have been something but um, it's more of just your your standard haha boobies haha yeah, make me laugh there's, they definitely could have cut down some things it's a little bit slow of mm-hmm. a show but you know, whatever. It, it is <laughs> what it is. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any issue with Sohara. It's just sometimes she's a yeah. bit much. She's a bit well, because you know, once again, you see so many of the childhood uh, friend embarrassed that they like the like the friend, and they're like, "Oh no!" And then it's like, "No, you idiot." Why would you do that? Like she's she's like not fully sundere, but she's not fully yeah, like yeah. She's she they want it best of both worlds. Yeah, I still like the design though. I pick pony pick to pony. What is a ponytail? Yeah, a a plus. I like all a the plus. character designs. Really, the character designs are not bad for sure. A plus. <laughs> okay, I maybe say B a plus. I'd say B B B B B B. Uh, let's move on to um, more higher in, higher up the social ladder. Let's talk about Mikako Satsukitani. Uh, she's cool. She's, I like her. I forgot how much I actually liked her character because uh, she's just a violent mo- uh, MF, you know? AF. <laughs> she is where the meat of the show, I think, kind of like deviates because she's like, she makes all these weird things like happen, like the gunfights and the fishing yeah. episode and the wrestling and I the think getaway island. I think her characterization is probably the best in the show. Mm-hmm. I, I, um, I just I think she just is a fun character because she's one of those characters that like you know we don't need to take seriously. We know she's a batshit crazy person. Like when they were in the dreams and she was running. Running around and enjoying herself, <laughs> running away in Sugata's dream. I'm like, that's perfect. I love that. Um, so it's just it's because she it, lacks morals. Well, yeah, she's failing I'm fine in moral with that. Class. That was so funny when she's like, "I'll kill them all." <laughs> I'm like, that's good. That's a funny bit. It's great. I love it. Oh goodness, I like the fact that um, her like she's like she's like a what the daughter of a yakuza. Uh, yeah, from what it is, and uh. Just the fact that, like, you now, like, you you can, you understand, like, the fact, like, she's like this because she's, she's a Yakuza's daughter. Of course she's like this. Um, I kind of like that. Um, I like the fact that she doesn't fawn over the main character. That's, that's something we needed, like, definitely. Because almost all the girls fawn over uh, Tomiki, except for the side characters in this one. And, um, you know, yeah. you need that, that person who's just like, no, you're a creep, dude. <laughs> Should have um, beat him up I more. Do, yeah. <laughs> Should have murdered him. What? 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 Uh, uh, but she also has a lot of fan service, so I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying so hard not to say fan service this entire time, this but that's show the only is just reason I. Oh no! It's duh, my true reasons for thinking this show has been revealed. Oh no! I can't believe it. I'm so sorry. Oh, Truth yeah. revealed. I'm sorry. I'm just a horn dog. It's okay. <laughs> we'll but you know who's not a horn dog? <laughs> Ishiro Sugata. This man 
is weird. But he's also very smart. Mm-hmm. He's he's the he's the president of the New Continent or New World Discovery Club, uh, and he's just got an obsession with flying. Like the first episode, he he go he pulls a he pulls a Michael Scott. He's like, I'm gonna jump, <laughs> do a flip, do do a flip. Sugata. That was a great introduction to his character. Yeah, that really stuck out. Mm-hmm. So you knew he had a, a few wires loose, but you know his straight face yeah. led you to believe otherwise. He was smart enough to be able to build it in the first place, but exactly. wacky enough to mm-hmm. be able to go through with it. And he has yeah. his assistant, pretty. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a very good. Um, he's a very good character as well. Those those two that we just mentioned, I think, mm-hmm. are the best made characters in this show. I enjoyed all of his appearances when he would go to the synapse using the dream thing. Yeah, like I enjoyed that because that really kind of it pushed the the plot they wanted to make with the serious stuff and the and the synapse forward, which I like because I'm just like if 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 not Tomiki because he's not going to do it, who else but Ashiro because he's the who one else? who's really. Who really wanted to find out more about these angeloids and whatnot? Uh, mm-hmm. And now, I, I now I see why you guys were like, if it was focused on him, that'd be great. Yeah. I feel like he's that a, would be. He's that a would much more great... interesting character. Yes, because there's a lot of shows out there also where you have like the harem type, but like with the main with the MC just like not paying attention to them. Those well, are like that's that's kind of what Two Love Rue is. Mm-hmm. Like. It's not as horny. There's still a little, obviously, horniness. But He's like, it's I not... do not give in to the lusts of this world. Yeah. It, it, I just, I like, I like those types of it's horn refreshing. shows a little bit more, you know? It's refreshing. But yeah. to be fair, I was, I, you know, I've also, you know, been reading, like, We Never Learn, which is kind of like Baby's First Harm, as well as Quint, Ren a Girlfriend. Oh, like... But Yugi, uh, or that's his name, right? Nari, 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 Nariaki? Who? Uh, uh, glasses coon from We Never Learn. Oh, oh, from We Never Learn. Yeah, yeah it's Nar- Nariaki, right? Nariaki. Uh, yeah, I, I like him. Uh, oh, he's he might he, be my favorite because he's not uh, he's not extra. He's just yeah, like Nariyuki. I respect women. Yeah, I'm he's, he's in this like, situation, he's, and, like, and I respect I, that. <laughs> I am also super excited because the second season is coming out in October. Uh, I forgot. Didn't I, I guess it got delayed? Didn't it? Yeah, but it looks so cute too. I love all the characters that that show. By the way, we never learn. Please read it. It's finishing up finally, uh, in a cool way. I don't want to spoil it, um, but I love it. And Enjoying. all the character designs are really cute, and I love all the characters. And teacher is great. And I'd love to hear your tier list later. Of oh, uh, we will. I man, that tier list might be a little bit spicy, yeah, <laughs> but that's later. That's neither here we'll, we'll nor talk there. About it. <laughs> I love I love we never learn. That's that's just I've been I've literally been reading that manga for probably two years now. <laughs> like I when did we never learn start? Twenty sixteen. Start. Twenty fifteen. Twenty seventeen. Oh, so I've close. probably been reading since. Well, actually, wait. Twenty seventeen. I probably started reading reading early twenty eighteen, and I've been keeping up <sighs> this whole time. With the Kardashians. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um. But yeah, uh, go read it. Uh, anywho, yeah. that's uh, Ashura Sugata, probably the would-be MC. Yeah, uh, oh, I we, wish, right? If we lived yeah. in, in a, a perfect, in a perfect society, world, <laughs> in a new world, I would. And in the, the new world, he is the main character. Well, then, like during like the second season, when he's going to the synapse and whatnot, like he gets a lot more screen time than he used to. Exactly. And like you can this feel man. the 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 view kind of shifting a little bit, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, why not just always have that shift? Yeah, maybe if now I'm thinking maybe if Tomiki was the side character and it was Sugata, I feel like yeah, that's, I feel like that's, that would work much better. Yeah, that's my whole vibe. Cause, and I'm like vibing. it's it's whole the whole show's rooted in sci-fi, right? Mm-hmm. So why not have a character who's interested in those sciences mm-hmm. to be the main character? And not and not you know in the last episode, fucking Tomoki is like, I don't care about all this. I don't. I just want my quiet life. Also. How fucking annoying is that, by the way? Hey, I Peace say I want quiet. a quiet life. Yeah, and this motherfucker's <laughs> just creating ruckus all the time. He doesn't like peace and quiet. Hey, you can say that about Yoshikage Kira. He wants a quiet, peaceful life, but he's out murdering people. But he's very good at it. <laughs> Look at him murder. Oh and my no god. One, no, like he's... Well, like that's... like Okay, <laughs> are we really going to do this comparison right no, now? No, we're not. I'm just Guys, saying... Tomoki 
says he likes peace and quiet, but yet he still goes out and makes trouble for himself. He's and that just pisses a horny me quiet off. Man. He just he's a fucking perv. And like I don't I just don't like him. He's a he makes me upsetty. I feel like had not the Angeloid showed up, he'd just have his mags. I don't know, man. His mags and the memory of his grandpa. The grandpa was pretty funny, I must admit. Uh I gotta go now. Grandma <laughs> found out about it. I had to leave the country for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe for a long bit. <laughs> uh, Grandpa's real good. Shout it's, out to it's Grandpa good. Tomoki. Shout out, right? I think he's Tomaru. Hold up, what is his name? Uh, uh, Tomozo. Tomozo well, Sakurai, that's his name. Good. Um, let's, uh, I think that's almost, uh, okay, I guess we could talk, I guess we since we were talking about Tomoki, we could talk about him. Uh, Horny. <laughs> Yes, we've done. We talked about Tomoki. We did it. He's horny. He's horny and not a very likable character. He's got a weird kindness aspect to him, but it kind of is overshadowed. And it, it, it's completely overshadowed by the horniness. There's like no. Uh, I feel like it's just if, so, so if, frustrating. Like a lot of the episodes just felt like it wasn't a to- like it like it wasn't Tomoki or like the way they painted um, how they were painting him early on. Yeah. Which was a little bit of a shame because I did enjoy all the the more uh, subtle emotional touches that Tomoki did put, like uh, you know, becoming their master. You know, like I, I I guess I'll be their master. Like I'm just like you know that was nice. It's, except you know it wasn't that nice because you're a perfect. Yeah. But yeah, that's Tomoki for you. Yeah, that's um, fine. The last person I want to talk about, just because I liked his design, was the man of Judas, like the Judas guy. Oh yeah, that he was pretty funny. He was great. I loved every time he showed up because I knew, I knew, I knew he was gonna win. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely every yeah. time. Every time you can't have a cool anime character like that with a gun and smoking and not win. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. I love Judas smoker. Man. Judas, I Judas man. I used to be a smoker. Yeah, you the big baby. I used to be a baby. Um, but yeah, that's the characters. Um, I want to go ahead and um, you know, move on. Uh, from that segment, I want to go ahead and try and check some emails. Do we get any emails this week? Welcome to the 69th oh, edition yeah. of Who's the Best Girl, the part of the podcast where she does is put forward their choice the best girl of the episode and do get out for a title of Best Grill. Today, our contestants, once again, Pino, Garb, myself, and the Patreon. Who are we each advocating for? I'm, I'm advocating for picking. Icarus. What's that? Icarus. Icarus, oh, good choice. I'm picking the grandpa. <laughs> I pick Matsuyama Taizo, the and, gym teacher. <laughs> all right. Since you and have the, probably the least to defend him on, Chuck, you start. Oh, f- well, also, who'd the Patreon pick? Patreon actually oh, no. picked Mikako, so uh, since it's my episode, I guess I'll go ahead and defend her, too. Good. Uh, um, Matsuyama is perfect. He's big man. He's a gym teacher. He's voiced. By Chris Ra- Rager or Rager Rager, I don't know how to pronounce. Red but regardless, Rager. Um, <laughs> but he's great because he has a very good voice. He was very funny in the wrestling episode, and he showed up one other time, and that's all he needed. And he's more likable. Showed up than twice, any- actually. Yeah, he showed up first, and then he showed up for a scene to bring him to detention. Yes, and that's it. It was nice him. hearing him again. He's a very good voice actor and a very good character. So yes. that's it. That's my that's my whole deal. So and also I was he's bald. So the only reason I would say he's future. bad is because I confused him for the gym teacher in Psyche, uh, yep. a different anime. So that's why he's bad. Well, he's, uh, he's good thing is I've good thing is I've never seen it. So good. That's not a bad thing. Watch it. I mean, don't watch it. I won't. Okay, watch it. I won't. Please. No. It's my profile picture. Who? Yes. Oh, oh, Psyche. Okay, yeah. No, <laughs> never mind. I was like. I was like, uh, that's not a gym like, teacher. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was like, wait a second, but then I was like, oh, that's that's right, that's what show you're watching right now. It makes no, more I sense finished now. it. Oh, okay, that's the show you were watching. Yeah, now. I'm watching a bad one now. What are you watching now? Uh, is that 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 gambling one, Kakigori? Oh yeah, uh, Kakigori. No, not as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, but we'll, I'll put it on the list. Probably. I'll put it as my show. Okay, uh, uh, but he's great. I love him. Yeah, he's kind of cool. I like him. He's got a good voice. So, props. Yeah! Garbalax? The grandpa is one of the funnier characters we've ever had. He <laughs> distributes true. wisdom, even if it's not very wise. He does his best, and he's dead. Dude, don't you don't you ever talk bad about Tomoki's grandpa. 
<laughs> Bop well, you in the head. <laughs> on the bright side, if your best girl is a girl, is, is a girl, <laughs> is a ghost. Guys, is your best girl a girl? <laughs> if they're a ghost, you know, they can just chill with you all the time. It's true. He's always with you. Yeah. And, just and, like the Force. Yeah. He is the Force. Who's to say he isn't? He's probably the reason why Tomiki's this messed up, but hey, that's all right. We like Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> we do like Grandpa. Grandpa's pretty funny. We like because you don't. You only see him a little bit, and he's a little bit pervy, but that's fine. And those, exactly. those times to leave the country. He, the the times that he did show up, like those are all. I I, I got a little chuckle out of his yeah. bits. Maybe not the first okay. couple, but the later ones are even better. You gotta mm-hmm. let him fly. He's a <laughs> <laughs> oh a good man. I have no qualms with Grandpa. Yeah, no, he's pretty fun. Pretty he's fun. he's a little bit of a player, but you know. Yeah, I mean, you, sometimes you got to play the game to get the game, you know. Just what? Fi- fifteen billion more to go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about that one. I was gonna love all the women in the world. <laughs> Only fifty. More. Oh, good times. Oh, well, pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I picked Icarus. Um, I picked Icarus because, uh, you know what I like more than big boobs? Watermelons. Yeah, that too. <laughs> actually, watermelon is actually pretty nice. So if she, if she allows me to have a watermelon, hey, that's fine with me. If she just wants to pet it, hey, that's fine with me. It's probably mushy that. on the, probably mushy on the inside. Yeah. You can just buy her a new one and swap it out mm-hmm. when she's not looking and then eat that watermelon and give her the other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly, son. Nice. <laughs> um, but no, I like the whole... In this scenario, I do like the whole monotone vibe going on here because it, it like, because like I know she's not going to be that way for for forever because she's like learning like what it is to be a human, and I I, I enjoyed the the character growth. I enjoy the style. I like her short hair. Like she has like kind of like brown bangs going on on the side of her of her, yeah. of her head. I like that. Uh, despite all these characters having big eyes, um, which I typically don't like. Uh, I, if it if they're green, I'm sorry. I'm I'm done. I've been slain. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, and she's got cute little outfits, so that's cool. Pino. Yeah. So what does it mean to be human? God, I wish I knew. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's when my reactor starts heating up. Maybe, <laughs> maybe? it's when I take off my sock <gasps> and then don't put it in the laundromat. <gasps> maybe it's, wait a second, I feel the tonal shift in my voice coming back. Oh my god, I know what love is. <gasps> you remember it. It's you, it's Baby, you guys. Oh, no more. We love bum, you. Bum, bum, Chuck, you didn't bum, react bum, to my, my bum, emotional bum, bum, breakthrough. Bum, bum. I was thinking about Hardaway. Ah, or Hadaway, rather. I'm going back to my monotone hosting then. <laughs> Anyways, that's what? why I picked Icarus. Dude, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. That's what I was thinking of. That no what, whatever you were like, what is human? And then I just thought of what is love. They keep... Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what is a man? <laughs> What a miserable little pile of cogs and wings and angel. And horny. Like, yes. literally, though, like, every time they were like, what is love? I'm like, there's a song. Maybe it don't hurt me. There was a no song love. made in 1993 that tells you exactly what love is. <laughs> they do have a gif of the three angeloids bobbing oh, their yeah. heads in the I car, the which is really funny, <laughs> which I'm, I'm very happy exists. It's a good one. We need to get a fucking gif of us just fucking bobbing <laughs> our heads in a car. And last but not least, uh, Satsuka, uh, Satsukitani Mikako, uh, Patreon pick. Uh, they like her, and I'll tell you why. Purple hair, okay? Purple hair is always a good uh, good thing to have. She's in, She has power, not just in the school society, but in the Yakuza community. She gets what she wants whenever she wants. She can step on you and shoot you at the same time. And you know what? Sometimes when she wants revenge, she'll have that purple aura around her, and she just needs to let loose. She's great. I love her. Yeah. And you know what? Just because you fail ethics doesn't mean you're not good at other things, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a really you're very That nice. was a good bit. That one got a chuckle out of me too. Yeah, the 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 you're very nice uh bit was very funny. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are oh. very nice. Wait a minute. That means <sighs> But yeah, she she does a lot. So like there's there is there's probably if if if, if Icarus didn't exist, then I'd probably pick Mikako as well. Yeah, she's with, good. With um, with Nymph coming in as a, a solid third. Actually, no, Astria coming in as a solid third. Huh, there you go. 
I was about to say new. What? Dang. Okay. Ashley was real good. I remember the first time I didn't like her when I watched the show, but like she's real good. Yeah, she's okay. She's she real good. good. She she's good at CQC, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that popped in my head too. Yeah, good old good old CQC. What are the basics of CQC? Well, you just have to press the X button. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's the show. If you think that we all suck, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> um, let us know who your pick was. Let us know if you... Yeah, email if, us at fuckyabbypodcast at gmail.com if you want to uh, do it. Um, yeah, be featured okay. on an episode when you have your question read. Or if yeah, you just we, want to call us have, a bunch of We weeks. have a couple emails <gasps> from Alex Buff again. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. First one. Hey. First one's a real quick question, and I want you guys to go with your gut feeling immediately. Okay. <laughs> gut feeling. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. Hey, bros, I didn't mean anything. Just a quick question here. DBZ, One Piece, or JoJo, One Has to Go? Oh, One Has to Go. Ooh, almost, almost said One Piece. And, I, and I'm, going to, I'm going to add an asterisk here. That the effects of the show will still be in the world. So, like, for example, if you took away Dragon Ball Z, it's still, like, the influence still would be there. So, like, nothing else would change. I'm going to oh literally just oh, fucking okay. disappear. Cut DBZ, dude. Yeah, 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 sorry. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, the... everyone. That's it. That's all. Literally, if we took out DBZ, it would just be original Dragon Ball. Yeah, and original and Dragon like Ball perfect. fucking slaps. So. And we could yeah, have gotten Gohan in this new DBZ. Yeah, we. Uh, that's guys. I think we solved the puzzle. Guys, guys we know why 2020 is like that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> guys, all we got to do is just remove DBZ, and then we could just have the best part of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. <laughs> yes, true. We could have Tao Easy. Tai Peg. Flying on his yeah. log forever. Yeah, he flies on his damn log. Yeah. I love him. We wouldn't have that terrible accident turning him into a robot, unless 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 it happened in Dragon Ball. I mean, that di- that did definitely happen in Dragon Ball. Oh no! Go, we gotta go back. A fucking bomb or a grenade up next to him and it exploded. <laughs> oh, good old Goku. <laughs> it's ve- it's very funny. I love it. Um, and then finally, uh, you are transported into a fantasy world and told you have to join a guild. Mm. What guild are you joining? The choices are the same as in most RPG type games. So let's RPG guild. What? So like, oh thief. boy, oh this is fun. I'm thinking I like, like classes. Like, I, I'd probably be thief because I want to be. But sneaky. catch me in the monastery, boy. I want to be <laughs> sneaky and I'm gonna be a monk and hide in the shadows and have high dexterity. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, how about how about this? we'll use this question, but we'll also like in a. Uh, is, does, is that do you think that's an accurate re- representation of you in the podcast? Because I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> Thief. Class. I think I'm. I think I'm the trumpet. The trumpet player. You know, like from Shrek, the first movie, where they're like, <laughs> and then they go. Oh, no, like, I can definitely see you as a bard. <laughs> <laughs> like you're definitely a bard man. I'd it's say. either I go for bard, which is something I never play, or I go for like. Uh, I wouldn't go. I'm not a sneaky man, you despite could be a, me liking. You could be the stuff. dancing bard. Oh, Dad. there you go again. He's, he's a he's a dancer. <laughs> He'll give you an extra turn of movement. Oh shit! Dude. I'd like to go for That's a the hunter, best, the best support character in the game. Like I'm not I'm not <laughs> fully true. patriotic they only to give be you a one knight. Or two. I'm not fully patriotic to be a knight, but I like I like my fair game of hunting. I'd be a yeah, hunter. Yeah, I pr- man, I don't even know what I would do. I'd probably I might be like one of. Well, if we're doing D and D classes, I'd absolutely probably be absolutely probably would be maybe <laughs> barbarian just because I'm big and I yell a lot. Sometimes. <laughs> <That'd> <laughs> That's it. Um, you've got then, too like, much. You've got maybe a little, a little too much intelligence there. I got too yeah. many braids. <laughs> you're you're um, the top of the, the top of the barbarian class. You're yeah. you're like one I'm, step I'm, closer I'm, to evolving. I'm a barbarian monk multi-class. <laughs> I got a little bit more brains than me, but I still punch you and said hit. polytheism? No. Monotheism. Oh! No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> uh. Guys. Alright, so Skyrim, to... though, obviously we'd all fight for the Nords, right? Uh, Skyrim is for the Nords. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Skyrim is for the Nords. No, but what, what was the what were the factions? There was the Empire, right? There was the the Empire. That's Star and, and Wars. I was sorry. Who, who, what were the, the two Imperials. fighting classes? The Imperials and the and the Stormcloaks, Storm right? Yeah. Okay, you an Imperial, you a Stormcloak. Um, fuck them both. Honestly, kill them all. Yeah, kind of. I'm going to the magic class. I'm going to the magic school. 
Yeah. I'm going to be a little, I'm be a little sneaky boy. Yeah, Shit, yeah. In nice. Skyrim, there's not much of a choice except to be a sky- sneaky archer. Yeah, basically, <laughs> sneaky archer. And oh, thief! Get him, thief! Uh, Stop! I gotta play. You violated Oblivion, the now that I can play on my PC. God damn! I played. I I have it on 360, and I played a little bit on that. Dude, no, you I can don't. play Oblivion with high res, shitty old graphics. Dude, actually, I should just play in Dark Souls. The, all the crashes you could ever hope for. That's all I want, really. <laughs> yes. Yes, I yes. am. Thank you for the emails. Those are great. We love yeah, y'all. thank you. In a summary, I'd be a dancing bard. Garb would be an assassin, and 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 no, Chuck, I'm you not said you'd be a barbarian. An assassin. Oh, he's not. I'm not sorry. an assassin. I'm not, not an assassin. assassin. Would, would be an thief assassin. Class. He's asinine. <laughs> that too. <laughs> asinine assassin. That's the yeah. next podcast. The funkiest <laughs> asinine podcast. Wow. <laughs> Look at us with our. But I know this word. Last time I said alliteration. No, what did I say last time? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. I don't have uh, onomatopoeia. Is yeah, that what I you think said? I said onomatopoeia. Well, I guess FAP is an onomatopoeia, so that 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 does that um, is technically I, accurate. I mean, I was going more towards um, acronyms, but uh, that's cause we have one. an acronym. That's, that's the, the one. one. Anyways, um, any anything else you guys want to add? We're here in the miscellaneous section. Show's okay. Not really. Yeah. I remember liking it a lot more when I originally watched it, but I still had a I still had a swell time. I'm not like yeah. upset that I wasted time, yeah. but I'm, it was nice walking through memory lane. I was like, look yeah. at all these things. I'm it's definitely going to read the manga though. I have it already bookmarked here, so I'm just seems just to be waiting much, for a good time. So far, it is seeming so far. Weird. Yeah, as 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 with most of Pino shows, the manga for some reason is slightly better. Yeah, so. crazy how that works. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, or as. Never mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to check out the movies after I finish the manga. Or maybe I'll just watch the movies because I'm lazy. Um, I was actually going to buy uh, one of them because it was like five. Well, I think it was like not ten. No, I think it was ten bucks on right stuff one time. And I was like, I might as well just get it because I like the show. Uh, and then I said no because that's titties. And I'm just like, well, I don't. Illegal. I shouldn't, have, shouldn't have titties here. <laughs> uh, this is but a yeah. free zone. This is definitely not a show to show your particular grandma. people. You're not... Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's actually a good one. <laughs> no, you can show your grandpa. your grandma's anime. You, you can show your grandpa. <laughs> yeah, be like, grandpa, I love it. Grandpa would be like, ha ha, I died. He would thank you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> he would thank you. Oh, thank, like, you thank you, my boy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we're ready for rankings, right? I think so. Chuck, you can go first. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't that ready. Garby, um, you go first. I give it a 2.6. 2.6. A fair. tenth of a point above average. That's because fair. it had special EDs for every episode. So it gets it gets a notch above average, but only a tenth of a point. Yeah. I'd say this is... I say the same thing, 2.6, because it's slightly above average, but I just like... I couldn't. I I reasonably could not recommend this to anyone, mm-hmm. and and in good conscience. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I've actually recommended this a couple times uh, Why? to some people. Well, just because of just trying to read the situation, they ended up liking it. So I was like, "Hey, that's that's two points for me." So we know uh, we know the kind of demographic you're associated with. Yes, I'm associated with. Probably anything with that breathes. No, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, probably anything that jiggles. Uh, no. Um, it sounds for I, I look back on this show and I'm just like, you know what? This was a good time. It, it was, it was, it was, it was fun. Sure, it was very awkward at times, uh, mostly due to all the, the ecky, all the, all the um, unfortunate things Tomiki does uh, with his hands. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely a show that you're, that's like, not something you sh- you're you're not gonna like actively seek out. Oh, what's the next uh, Eki Harem I need to watch? <laughs> um, but it's a it's a it's a fun time if you actually just turn off your brain a little bit and go yeah. you go you go dummy mode. Uh, for <laughs> dummy some time. mode. Yeah, man, not sicko mode. You go dummy mode. Dummy uh, mode. I like the characters. I'm I like I like I like most of this show. I just don't think it's something that's like standout ish. Did I have fun? Yeah, of course I did. 
Uh, so that's why I'm giving this a 3.4. I liked okay. it. You have strange taste. Who, Who, you're a strange man. <laughs> hey. You're an odd fellow. I mean, I I did. What 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 show did I give five? Didn't no. I almost gave Madoka five. So did you give Gurren Lagann? God, five? that would have been. I gave Gurren Lagann a five. I gave Silent Voice a five. I gave gave another show a five. I've given nothing a five. Nothing deserves a five. Not until season four when we watch something. Ah, uh, fake Grand Order. You knew it. <laughs> I can't believe it. You'll probably give hey. one of the high Q seasons of. Five. Yeah, probably one of the f- <laughs> high Q probably. season three, probably, and then JoJo part four, probably. Uh, there's a lot. Not even gonna knock a tenth down for the shit brown Morio Sky. No, I love the shit brown Morio Sky. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. You're, all I right, you have it. strange taste. <laughs> How dare you? I give this show the same ranking as you. <laughs> <laughs> strange indeed. A very strange man. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, what are we watching next week? Oh, shit, dude. We're watching the Berserk movies. <gasps> Do I get to see Donovan in this one? I, I actually don't think Donovan is in it. But Then there's no rating Zero out of five. So read the manga, everyone. <laughs> Can't believe it. So we're watching the, the three movies, right? Yeah. Oh, all three movies. Oh, okay. Look yeah. at that. Oh, we can marathon that. We're, uh, that's awesome. Are they yeah, are they the three D ones? Or are they the animated ones? Yeah, it's the 3D they're not one. the three D one. We're not. Don't yeah, even they are. mention that. Yeah, they are. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, they are. They're in three D. What? Yep. Ah, shit. Yes, sir. Oh, we're watching the three D. We're watching movies. the three D. Well, they're well, they they use two D in some parts of it, but there's a lot of three D, mm. especially in the first one. So, hey, let's go. So I'm just saying we're watching all three of them and we're going to rank them all together and I'm going to be very critical of I'm going to have, have fun. I've never I've never I've never other than the Donovan image I post that I don't <laughs> understand. I've never I've never had any experience with oh, really? Berserk. I've, I've read a little bit. Read so. the manga. I have no I, I have can't. no loyalty to the, any of the shows. <laughs> I'm only loyal to the manga. Except for except for the 1997 OST and OP, those yeah. are great. Yeah. Well, the ending too. Go, is really go cool. listen anyway. to Guts's theme and cry. Next time, next time, that's what we're watching. So get get in the mood. Get your get your blood and guts ready, because it's time. Get your hunking chunk of iron. Well, I'd like to say that this meeting of the new Fab Club has gone to a full-on success. We've all agreed that Tomiki is a piece of crap, despite mm-hmm. his shortcomings. This is an interesting show, but not one for everyone. I'd like to thank all my readers out there who didn't actually read this, because you can only hear it on audio form. This has been the Funky Anime Podcast. Two pretties and one Ashiro Panada, right here, signing off. He called me pretty. <laughs> called You're me pretty, too. <laughs> Chuck's pretty one. <gasps> oh. <laughs> wow! You'll always be second to me. <laughs> Make sure to tell your mom you love her. Good and you'll always be a fish. <laughs> what? Ah. Hmm? Ah. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>